Okay, folks, I'm going to show you how to install Tyke into a Kubernetes cluster using uh, the Tyke Helm charts. Tyke Helm charts, of course, you can go to the public repository and uh, just make a, a local copy of this using Git, uh, and then you're off to the races. Uh, there's nothing else that you have to modify. You can just uh, go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy Tyke into uh, its own namespace. You don't have to do this, but I like to keep things nice and organized. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to deploy just the one dependency, which is Redis uh, uh, for the open source gateway. And now it's there. And so we deployed Redis into the Tyke namespace. Finally, for uh, the Tyke uh, OSS or Tyke headless, we're going to use Helm and then install it into the cluster. So Helm install Tyke CE Community Edition. Uh, we give it the, the directory and then uh, the namespace that we want to install it into. And uh, that's it. Just like that, we've um, we've deployed Tyke. So let's take a look at what we have. kubectl get all in the Tyke namespace, and we'll make this a little bit bigger to play with. Um, so here you can see that we have a service, the gateway service, and then we have the pods that are uh, coming online now. So now we can do a kubectl port forward to the uh, to the service. We're gonna uh, map 8080 uh, on our laptop to, to uh, 443. Um, on the uh, gateway service. You can see that's um, what it's listening on. And we can fire that off. And there we go. Uh, and so now what we can do is we can open up another terminal here. We're going to do a curl to localhost on 8080, and then we want the hello endpoint, and then we get some data back. So that's it. Uh, watch the next video to learn how to create your first API.